Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about another data recovery tool. And in this video, we're talking about Tenorshare for DDAG data recovery. This software is a pretty simple software. It can help you recover all file formats, photo, video, audio, documents, etc. You can also recover from hard drives, memory cards, USBs, cameras, and more. And it's really, really simple and intuitive. We're going to have, of course, the software available from the links in the description below. You can try Tenorshare for DDAG data recovery for free, and you can and recover up to 100 megabytes using the free version. So now let's see how you can use the software. After you install the software, the installation is of course pretty simple, next, next, finish. This is how the software looks when you first open it. As you can see, it has the main interface where it asks you to select a location to start data recovery. And of course, you have the local drives, you have some common locations, and also you can connect it to a NAS, which is also pretty interesting. You also have the option to accurately find files. Basically, you can only specify certain formats or file names or path information and also some estimate sizes of lost files and I think that is pretty cool. You can also recover files if your computer crashed. All you need to do is to choose an external USB or DVD drive, create a bootable drive and boot up on the computer that crashed and doesn't allow you to access those files. Of course, you're going to need an USB that can handle the sizes of the files that you want to recover. And we also have some interesting options, repair unopenable photos or repair unplayable videos. This is also pretty nice. You can just select the photo or the video and the software will try to fix your photo or video that doesn't open. And I think that is also a useful function. In this video, we're going to try to recover some files from our computer. But of course, I must tell you again, I've told you in other videos, but the data recovery process depends on a lot of factors so can't just expect to recover all your deleted files right away because there are certain factors that matter when you're doing data recovery for example the time that has passed since you deleted those files what file types were those files because maybe if there are archives or videos or you get my point certain file formats are harder to recover and of course you need to keep in mind when recovering videos or photos you may not recover the full version of it the full resolution or the full quality right now what I want to do is to recover some files from my C partition. We're just basically going to do a quick data recovery and we're going to do a rescan because I've done a scan before. So here, after we select that, we can select what type of file we want to recover. In my case, I'm just going to select photos for now because I want to recover some photos. And as you can see, the software scans my C partition and of course gets all the files that it can get. For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to let it scan all the way through because as you can see, it's only at 12% and already already has 40,000 files found. So for example, you can search around here, you're going to see that you also have the scan results categorized. For example, you have deleted files, you have file path not found or file name not found, tagged files. You're going to notice that certain files have also previews. And if you're able to see a preview to your file or image, it's already a good sign. It may look like you can recover it. And for example, we have here a lot of files that I've deleted. You can also see here some files that I've used in previous videos for certain testing purposes. I think that is also pretty cool. Now let's try to recover a file. For example, this one, I want to recover it. Click on recover. And we're going to be able to select the location where we want to recover it. Of course, don't restore files to the partition where you lost data. That is the number one thing that you don't need to do. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do it and click on recover and then still recover. Click on recover only. Now let's see what we recovered here. We have here the file. And as you can see, the file is pretty much the full size. I don't think it lost any quality. I think it's pretty cool that the software managed to recover this because this was a file that was in my downloads folder and I recently deleted it maybe an hour ago or something like that. So I think it's pretty cool that software managed to recover it. If you go to home, you can also try to recover files that are other file types. For example, now let's try some documents. Let's just scan documents on desktop. As you can see, we're just doing a quick scan and it found 836 files. And of course, we have certain files that don't have a path. As you can see, a lot of documents, a lot of XML or .txt documents, and you can recover those pretty easily. Just click on it. You can also see previews to those files and I think that is pretty nice. Of course, some of them may be encrypted if there are certain system files or something like that. The software is an all-round tool that can help you recover basically all file types. As I've said, depending on certain factors, you should be able to recover your files, but you need to keep in mind that those factors can have a huge impact on the result of your scan if you can recover your lost data or not. Another function that I find really useful is the recover from the crashed PC. Basically, of course, all of us had once in a while a PC that simply couldn't boot up or Windows was completely crashed and we wanted to recover our files. Well, you can use the software for this. You only need a USB drive and boot up, create it with a small tool and then boot
boot up on that USB drive to recover your files from that crashed computer. I think that is pretty nice. So as I've said, if you want to try out 4 DDIG data recovery, you can check it out from the links below and you can try it for free today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.